Today, I'll be doing differentiation using first principle. The formula for the differentiation by first principle is the limit as h tends to zero f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So this is the first principle formula. Now, say for example, we're given a function f of x equal 3x. And we are asked to differentiate this function using first principle. What we have to do, we have to find out what is f of x plus h. This x plus h means that wherever I see the variable x, I will be replacing it with x plus h. So I have three open brackets replacing the x. So we have x plus h. So expanding this bracket, we arrive at 3x plus 3h. Now, once I have what is my f of x plus h, and my f of x, I'll be replacing it into the formula. So we have the limit as h tends to zero, or f of x plus h is 3x plus 3h, while our fx is 3x, all over h. Now here the 3x will be canceling the 3x. Here we have 3x minus 3x, so these two cancel. So we're left with 3h over 3h. So I'll rewrite this as a limit as h tends to zero, 3h over h. h into h goes one time, so I'm left with a limit as h tends to zero for three, the limit of a number is a number, so the answer is three. Here we have fx being 2x minus five. So we will be differentiating 2x minus five using first principle. So again, we need to find out what is f of x plus h, and the x plus h means wherever I see the variable x, I will be replacing it with x plus h. So this x, replacing it with x plus h, we have two open bracket x plus h close bracket minus five. Now expanding this two times x, two x, two times h, two h minus five. Now we can go ahead and substitute into the formula, the first principle formula. So we have the limit as h tends to zero, replace f of x plus h with the two x plus two h minus five. So we have two x plus two h minus five minus, now fx is the original, which is two x minus five, all over, H. 
Now, what's going to happen is that there will be a change of sign. So we have the limit as h tends to 0. We will have 2x plus 2h minus 5. Then this minus sign affects what I have in the square bracket. So negative times positive, negative, negative times negative, positive, all over h. So one thing I need to let you be aware of, if you don't know already, that whatever is behind the subtraction sign it will always cancel with something in front here. So some persons like to cancel the 2x here because they know that it will be gone and the minus 5 will be cancelled with this. However, I'm just showing all the steps in this example where the 2x cancels this minus 2x got 2x minus 2x 0. We have minus 5 plus 5 that's 0 so that is cancelled. So we have the limit as h tends to 0 2h over h. Now this cancel and due to not having the space, this would be the limit of the number 2. And the limit of a number is a number. So the answer will be 2. Let's do another example. Suppose we have fx equal 2x squared plus 3x take away 5. Again, we need f of x plus h. But in an example like this, if you realize we have x squared and we have x, so we'll be replacing the x squared to be x plus h all squared and our x to be x plus h take away 5. Now one thing you need to know is that x plus h all squared it is the same thing as x plus h multiply by x plus h. Now expanding this, we have x times x, x squared, x times h, x h, h times x is h x or x h, and h times h, that is h squared. So we have x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. So it means right here for f of x plus h, we will have two open bracket x squared plus 2xh plus eight square and three times x that's three x three times h that is three h minus five so clear in the bracket we have two x square plus four x h so 2 times x squared, 2x squared, 2 times 2xh, 4xh, and 2 times h squared to give you 2h squared. Then we have 3x plus 3h take away 5. So all of this represents our x, f of x plus h. So substituting in a formal limit as h tends to 0, f of x plus h is 2x squared plus 
x h plus two h square plus three x plus three h minus five and then our f of x is two x squared plus three x take away five all over h. Now this is where I'm saying everything that is in the second bracket will cancel with something in the first bracket. So what you could do, 2x squared becomes a negative, so it's 2x squared minus 2x squared, so that will be gone. Then we have positive 3x minus 3x, so that will be gone. And minus 5, negative and negative, positive, so plus 5, so that will be gone. So what we're left with is limit as h tends to zero for x h plus two h square plus three h all over h. The next step is that we see h is common in the numerator. So I will be factoring out the h that is common in the numerator. So what I'm left with is 4x plus 2h plus 3 all over h. Now if you look at this, we can cancel the h here. So what I'm left with is a limit as h tends to zero, 4x plus 2h plus 3. Now after canceling the 2h and we're still seeing an h, remember the limit as h tends to zero means that we're not, we are we should now substitute zero wherever we see the letter H. So I'll have 4X plus two times zero plus three, and this cancels, so the answer is 4X plus three. Whenever you do first principle, you can always test if your answer is correct by going to the original function and differentiating using the rules. And we will arrive at the same result that we have here. So differentiating 2x squared using the rule, 2 to 4 and you subtract 1, so we have the 4x. When we differentiate x, it becomes 1, so 1 times 3 is 3. And when we differentiate a constant that is 0, so the answer is correct. So the final example for first principle, we have a negative 3x. So again, we have f of x plus h. Wherever I see the variable, I will be replacing it with x plus h. So we have x squared being replaced with x plus h and the x being replaced with x plus h plus 4. Now, remember I did the expansion for this. So the expansion of x plus h all square will be x square plus 2xh plus h square. Then multiply negative 3 times x, negative 3x. Negative 3 times positive h gives you negative 3h plus 4. Now expanding 
the first bracket that we have to expand in this section here. So we have two times x square, two x square, two times two x each, that is four x each, and two times eight square, that is two eight square. Then we write the minus three x minus three h plus four. Now we're going to substitute into the first principal formula. So we will have f of x plus h will be two x squared plus four x h plus two h squared minus three x minus three h plus four. f of x will be 2x squared minus 3x plus 4. It will be all over h. Again, the 2x squared will cancel the minus 2x squared. And negative 3x will cancel negative and negative, give a positive 3x. And the positive four cancel with negative times positive, negative four. So what are we left with? So we're left with four x h plus two h square minus three h all over h. Now we will be factoring out h that's common. So we have four x plus 2h minus 3 and in the denominator we're left with an h so the h cancels this h so what we have left is a limit as h tends to 0 4x plus 2h minus 3. Now this is where we replace h to be 0. So 0 times 2, this will be gone when we substitute the limit. So what I'm saying is that you would replace it, say so to have 4x plus 2 times 0, take away 3, their answer is just 4x minus 3. And again, we can test to see if our answer is correct by differentiating the original. So you have 2 times 2, that gives you 4, and you subtract 1. So we have 4x. The derivative of x is 1, and 1 times negative 3, that's negative 3. And the derivative of a constant is zero. Now, if you forget how to differentiate using the rules, I have a video with differentiating using the rules. So you now, can, if you like this video, please don't forget to press that subscribe button. Like my video.